Hey everybody, welcome back. Today we're going to be doing an unboxing and review of the Thermopro TempSpike Wireless Bluetooth Meat Thermometer. Something like this might be able to transform your Thanksgiving dinner. So you ready? Let's get into this. Okay, let's see what we got here. This shouldn't take too long because this is a tiny little box. Well, I hope you like orange. Well, let's go ahead and take this out of here first. Okay, there's our temp spike. Little plastic cover on here. It's always nice for storage. Bluetooth indicator light. The actual thermometer right here. And when you pull this out of here, you can see that Bluetooth light come on. So the way this thing works is this communicates with this thing and this thing communicates with your phone. Down here you have battery levels for both the booster, which is this thing here, and the probe, which obviously is this thing right here. And other than that, looks like this is sealed closed and you do have a USB thing here, so probably this is USB chargeable. Okay, down here, there's our USB charging cable. And like so many of these devices, there is no little brick to plug it into. You've gotta plug it into something that's already got this or you gotta get your own little brick. And I kinda hate that, but guess it is what it is. That's the world we're living in now. A little bit of literature, tech support. A little thing where they want you to download the Amazon app, so I guess there's a partnership there. A little cautionary thing about how to work this thing and our user manual telling us what all the buttons do. And it looks like the directions on this are pretty easy. This thing also has a couple of built-in magnets in the back, so if you want to stick it on the side of the fridge, you can do that to keep it out of the way. You can even store it there if you want to. The first thing we have to do is install the Temp Spike app out of your app store. And once you open that up, you have to allow devices, allow when you're in the app, and we'll add our thermo probe. And if you want to add it to your device, you have to make sure you take the probe and remove it from the case here in order to activate the Bluetooth. Once you do that, the app comes up looking about like this, where it'll show you ambient temperature around the probe and also interior temperature of whatever meat you're cooking. We're gonna be sticking this into a ham, so we wanna change the meat to ham. So I would assume that would be pork. After that, I'll show you a picture of the meat and kind of tell you where to insert that as well. Also, where to lay it down and where to put the transmitter. Pretty cool. Let's see how this works. All right, so we got our meat and we're gonna set this right in here. You can see on the device right here, it's already changing the uh, temperatures. It has the target temperature here the temperature that's inside the meat right now, which makes sense because I haven't really had it sitting out that long, and the ambient temperature around the device, which is not 91 degrees, but probably the fact that I was holding it by the sensor, it kind of warmed it up a little bit. Anyway, let's throw this in the oven and see what happens. And you can see that ambient temperature is already going up because I've already had this oven preheated to 325 degrees. And we got our progress bar starting up here as well, letting us know how close we are to the target temperature. All right, going through what you see in the app, all the way at the top you see battery levels for both the base and the probe, the current internal temperature of the meat along with the target temperature, a couple of toggles to turn an audible alarm on and off and vibration on and off on your phone, you have the ability to record the cooking session, then it'll track all the pertinent information from the beginning to the end. The lower section is for ambient temperature. So that's the temperature outside of the meat, but maybe inside of your oven. You can set upper and lower limits on that too, so it will alert you if you have a lot of fluctuation on temperature there. And if so, you'll be able to make adjustments to that. It's also a pretty good way to check your oven to see if the temperature is actually getting to what you're setting it at. If not, and you have an oven that runs a little bit cold, you can crank the temperature up on the control panel. That way, if you have an oven that just kind of misreports temperature, which is a pretty common thing, you'll be able to make adjustments to the temperature on that based upon what you see in the application. Supposedly, you can get about 500 feet away from the transmitter before it loses range. That's pretty far, and Bluetooth range really typically isn't that far. But our property is about a half acre, and I was able to get out all the way in the middle of the backyard, and it didn't lose connection to it, so 
maybe there's something to it. In any case, you're free to be pretty much anywhere in your house and still be able to track that temperature and receive alerts as well. By the way, if this is your first time here and you want to learn some cool new recipes, get some great cooking tips and tricks and all sorts of other kitchen related things, then start now by subscribing to the channel and clicking the notification bell so you never miss a thing. The Thermopro Temp Spike works extremely well. They really did address some of the problems that I have whenever I'm personally doing a Thanksgiving dinner. And one of the biggest nuisances that I have is that wire hanging out of the oven if you don't have a temperature sensor built into your oven. It gets in the way, a lot of times you can't close the lid all the way down over your turkey, or it gets bound up or something like that. This thing takes a lot of the guesswork out of it, and as long as I got my phone handy, I can keep an eye on the temperature anywhere in the house and I really don't have to worry about it that much. Really neat little device, and if you don't have a wireless thermometer, I recommend getting one, even if it's not this particular model. If you'd like a little bit more information about the Thermopro Temp Spike that I reviewed in this video, we do have an Amazon affiliate link to it down in the description of the video. If you buy anything through those links, we do make a small commission, but it doesn't change the price that you pay, one cent. If you like this video, you might like this video right here where we show you how to roast a Thanksgiving Day turkey. There's a lot of methods to doing that, but our way is probably one of the easier ones that you'll find. Well, that's it for now. I hope to see you back again here really soon. Until that time, I'm Joe and I hope you have a phenomenal day. Take it easy.